My name is John Kopchick. I'm a distinguished professor at Ohio University. My appointment is to the Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine. My lab is located in the Edison Biotechnology Institute. Everywhere that I go, uh, I talk about John. It's uh, almost unheard of that I would give a, a lecture or a presentation to anybody uh, without talking about John. I always highlight uh, what he's done here, and that helps us bring in the very best students, the very best faculty, and the best researchers into our college. So, so John's work has elevated the college in almost anywhere that you look. My collaborators at our house have been many, and it's been going on since the mid-1990s. The first person I met, colleague, friend, is Alan Fluper, who's now the dean of the medical school at our house. And then in the mid-90s, I was just fascinating uh, to meet a very, very good clinician, Jens Sandel Christensen. He and I were giving talks in different capitals of the countries in the world, and um, we became friends and colleagues. And through him, I was able to meet uh, Jens Otto Jorgensen, a colleague of Jens Christensen. And together, the three of us uh, went on to plan uh, successful collaborations. He has built a community of scholars, many of them from around the world. There's always a visiting scholar in there. He's got people coming in the lab all the time, so you have the diversity. But he also has a group of students. He's got research scientists from all over, and he really makes people enjoy being there. We now have currently, right now, a student from Jan Furstig. Her name is Rika Hart Hartsberg, excuse me if I got that name wrong, but she's now here working on adipose tissue um, from human samples and from mouse samples to see the effect of growth hormone, if they're the same in humans and mice or different. The drug that John invented has had a profound impact on medicine. Uh, prior to Somavert uh, being invented, there was no drug that was specifically a growth hormone antagonist that would treat this condition called acromegaly. We were sitting around talking and he said, so Darlene, do you want to change the world? And I said, what? what are you talking about? No, not really. And he said, well, if you don't want to change the world, you need to get out of science. He said, you've got to want to change the world. We do state-of-the-art science, as I told you but we also have fun. So, so my colleague, when I go to visit uh, in our house and um, after a day of talking science and doing uh, scientific things, we'll always have a dinner somewhere together and have fun. And um, again, it's the uh, interaction of the science, the clinical aspects of the science, and the personalities, the personal interactions, the fun that we have that makes this a, an ideal collaboration.